Hey everybody, Jesse here for Android Central. I want to show you a new game that came out in the market today called Cows Don't Fly by developer Hyperbees, who also has a developer forum in our in our Android Central forums. So if you have any questions there for those guys, anything in comments or questions about the game, um, you can obviously leave them on the market uh, comments, or you can just go there and post in our forums. Have, have any questions for them? Here you'll see. Here it is, the main menu for Cows Don't Fly. You'll see 15 levels here. And they're all, you know, they all get uh, increasingly difficult as you progress. I'm only on the sixth one so far, and it is still, it's getting pretty challenging. Uh, hopefully, have some more time later today or tomorrow to put in some more time on this. But here it is. Uh, what else do we have? It supports Open Faint, uh, which is cool. So that way, you you have the the leaderboard aspect there. So if you're finished the game, you've 100%ed everything. You know, you can go back and you can still compete in, on the leaderboards on Open Faint. Uh, so that's that's always a nice added bonus. It just kind of gives you more more replayability to your phone or to the game rather. Um, not quite in high resolution. It looks like it's a little fuzzy around the edges. But let's uh, why don't we go ahead and just let me show you how it works. Let's take the first level here, the the easiest one, of course. See, it works by just kind of moving this guy around these. Called a, it's called a bongo. Is the the name of these circular things here? Oh, right into the water. That's good. There we go. So you tap the screen to jump off them, and it's kind of like they're pulling you back, almost like they have this gravitational pull on you, or they all do actually. Um, and th that's it. Yeah, that's the first level with one star. The idea is to is to jump around, uh, jump off the bongos, uh, and collect the stars on the level, and then toward in the end you'll open up the uh, you'll open up the portal at the end. Once you have all this, once you have the necessary amount of stars, and as you can see, you got to tilt the phone side to side to rotate around the bongos, tap the screen to jump, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's well, I mean that's not pretty much it. I mean, there's it is pretty difficult, especially playing through a camera here but that's you know it's nice and nice and responsive I'm really really happy with it you hold down the screen if you want to fly around to kind of in the the object is of course you know to get through and get to the portal but you want to of course with any game you want to three star it if you can or five star it uh, you want to collect all the stars um, so that's, that's a couple levels there. There's also another mode called Challenge Mode, where you pretty much just jump through and get as high as you can. My best is 25 at the moment, but that's, you know, I think that was my first attempt. I was only, and I'm sure you guys will destroy that. But hey, I was only playing for about a minute at that point. Uh, so some of these bongos move differently, like this yellow guy here. He moves, you know, he has his own motion, and that makes it even more difficult. Uh, so you can see, you know, I'm touch as I, as I tap the screen, you know, it's jumping. There's there's no lag or anything. Nice smooth animations. And that spiky guy there, he takes away one of your hearts that you see up in the upper left hand corner there. Once you run out of hearts, you have to start over again. And the idea here during the challenge level is you see that water level rising. Uh, you just want to kind of stay ahead of that, unlike I just did there. Let's get out of here. Let me show you the um, the level that I'm currently on, the sixth level. This is when I, obviously, it's the one that I'm on, the last one that I've been trying. And this one has a, a horizontal layout to it instead of a, instead of climbing. You're kind of uh, moving along the landscape or waterscape, seascape, I guess. Uh, and, it, and it's it's a difficult game, and especially through the viewfinder of a camera here. If you if you go through and you 100% this game, maybe you should go back through and play it uh, through a digital camera, and you'll, there's a whole new level of challenges there. But yeah, you hold down the screen to fly, and and that's you know, stay out of the water, and you got to tilt the screen. I'm not I'm not tilting the screen too much just because it's 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 hard to I mean playing it through a screen through a camera and. And it just feels weird, you know. It's it's not normal. But I, if you were, you know, if you had this thing in front of you, you'd be moving your your phone all around, making use of the accelerometer and the other tracking technology it may have in it. So let's uh, kind of just watch some of this gameplay here.
but very fun game. It'll cost you 235 in the market, but well worth it. You know, I'm glad to see some cool games coming out on Android. You know, uh, anybody that had a G1 or or any early or any other early Android phone will remember that. You know, there wasn't a whole lot in terms of in terms of good games, but you know, this one is a good game. Uh, has an has a cool you know an original feel to it and you know, pleasing graphics to go along with it. Uh, this, you know, you might lose some color quality here uh, once this gets compressed down and put up on YouTube, but, uh, you know, and especially, you know, the, the Evo screen only has 65,000 colors, so there are, there are screens that have, that will give you a, a richer display, kind of make some of these colors stand out a little bit better. But where are we going here? We're falling into oblivion. Here we are. But it's a very good game. Uh, I, you know, two dollars and thirty-five cents. You know, you can't beat that for a, for a game that's going to keep you playing for quite a bit. Um, it's out in the market. Go grab it. Uh, get on Open Faint. Uh, start start getting on those leaderboards. And like I said, we have a, a developer forum. We have a Hyperbees developer forum in the Android Central forums. So if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, get on there and you know fire away. I'm glad they love to hear any feedback. But uh, that was cows don't fly.